I'm about to show you how I go about capturing footage from my PS3 system. This process will also work on a PlayStation TV. I'll start with a quick run through and then afterward I'll explain everything in a little bit more detail. Starting off, I have my PS3 hooked up as normal, displaying on the TV. To set up to be recorded, I'll start off by unhooking from the back of the TV the HDMI cable coming from the back of the PS3. Then I'll plug it into this very specific HDMI splitter into the port labeled HDMI input. I'm then going to connect the power cord that came with the splitter and plug that into an extension cord I have running from an outlet. The lights on the device have lit up. Then I'm taking this short HDMI cord and plugging one end of it into either the HDMI output one or HDMI output two port on the splitter. It doesn't matter which one. Then I'm going to connect the other end of that HDMI cord into the N port on my Elgato HD60 capture device. Next to that port, I'm connecting the small end of this USB cord, which came with the Elgato. and the other end into one of my USB ports on my PC. It has to be a port that supports USB 3.0 or above. Then I'm taking another HDMI cord and plugging one end into the out port on the Elgato device, and the other end to one of the HDMI inputs on the back of my TV. I'm then going to power on my PC. I can see footage from the game system on the TV now. Then on my PC, I will open up OBS. Sometimes the footage will instantly appear within the OBS preview window. Other times I have to go into the sources section and click the eyeball on the source called video capture device and then unclick the eyeballs on everything else listed there. If the image still doesn't show up, I can right click on the video capture device row and click properties. I can activate and deactivate the HD60 and sometimes that'll make it appear. When I do get the footage in the preview window, I can hit record. Now I'll go back and speak more about what is going on here. The reason I have a splitter in the mix is because the PS3 has something called HDCP encryption. It prevents its signals from being copied. This splitter strips out that encryption. I'll put a link to this device in the description. I also have another splitter that says REI on it, and it does the same thing. But according to the latest Amazon reviews, the newer versions of this splitter do not remove the HDCP for some reason. It's very likely there's other splitters on Amazon that also strip out the HDCP, but make sure you read the latest reviews. Bear in mind, the most common use of these splitters is to take one signal and split it into two, but I have no need to split it into two to record it. All I need this device for is for the signal to pass through it and for it to remove the encryption. That's why I only use one of the two ports. I don't need the other one because because I don't need to split it. Note that the PlayStation TV also has HDCP, and so this same setup will allow you to record from that device. As for the OBS part, there are many settings within the program, and if for some reason yours are not working, I'll show you my settings. I'll show you the most important screens anyway. It, feel free to match what I have here. Now you might be wondering how does the footage look when it goes through all this stuff. It's not perfect. Perhaps I could tweak some more of these settings in OBS. However, I have watched other YouTubers who record the same kind of content as me and their footage looks the same 
same as mine. I record a lot of Killzone 2 footage, and I see other YouTubers recording Killzone 2 footage from an actual PS3, and it looks equal to mine. A person could also use the RPCS3 emulator to record PS3 footage directly off their PC, and that would indeed look better, but I prefer to play off the original hardware, which is why I go to all this trouble. Just know that there's other ways to set up to record a PS3, and the way I do it is just one of those ways. If you try this, let me know if you have any issues. I hope this video was helpful. Have a great day.